at the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So three years ago, I signed a contract to play with Columbus in the FPHL, the Federal Prospects League of the Columbus River Dragons, which were at the time brand new expansion team. In 2019 in Columbus, I was not confident. I was also coming off a season of college hockey where I only had one start, and it was because the coach had no other option than to start me because nobody else was in town after the Christmas break, and I got pulled when we were winning. That is going to be the biggest blow to my confidence I've ever had in my life. I don't want to sound like bitching, but it, it took me a long time to get confident again. And now, coming off a season in Sweden where I think it was really successful, the goals against them, the save percentage, maybe not the greatest, but I faced on average. 38 shots a night. I had 70% of my team's overall wins, and I won 75% of my start. Wins are what matters. We play hockey to win. I'm getting paid this season, 125 a week, 500 a month, to win games for the team. And a great opening night, October 13th, in Motor City. Originally, <laughs> I told her I was going to make her dinner. Yeah. And then I told her, what about breakfast for dinner? She said, oh, breakfast for dinner. So I Ooh. said, I'll make you French toast. She said, I love French toast. Oh, I got a tip for you. Well, she changed her mind. Originally, oh. she wanted French toast. And now she wants breakfast poutine. You got to get some potatoes. You got to get a little spaghetti sauce. Uh, hollandaise, potatoes, peppers. Holy Hannah, you're just all ready to go. So she's six feet tall, right? So she's a, like, Perfect for you. Tall. Yeah. That is like a genetic lottery like win. Yes, it is. Like, so Nobody ever thinks about that when they get married. Well, I'm thinking about that because I'm thinking I only have so much time in pro hockey. Yeah. And once the hips and the knees give out, she's six feet. Her brother's six foot eight. Whoa. I'm six foot five. If, if we have a boy. NHL bound. NBA. NBA? NBA. You don't need skill. You're just going to be big. Hey, a goaltender at six foot eight in the National Hockey League, they'll draft him. Pivot shuffle, pivot shuffle, pivot shuffle, pivot shuffle, pivot shuffle. I love that you're trying to use your head, which is telling me a lot. The little bit of a problem that you're finding, go ahead, is that you have too much power. Isn't that amazing what happens? And you're not even working. Good. Good. Excellent. Go! Good. Two more. Go! Eyes. Good. One more. Come on now. One more. Get it clean. Go. Good. Fix it because you're going ice fishing again. So we'll give you a break between each set or pass, but you're going to go middle down. Middle. Left. Good. <laughs> Hang on. I'm trying. First class here, the Richmond Olympic Oval. <laughs> So it's date night tonight. I'm just gonna surprise Victoria with uh, a little pumpkin spice flavor because I think we're both like pretty big hoes for pumpkin spice this time of year. Infiltrated the dealer, found a supplier. Infiltrate the dealers, find a supply. I got you a surprise. What'd you get? I got you pumpkin spice. <gasps> yeah. How'd I do? This is horrible. <laughs> Yeah. Ago, like him and I were texting. Matt? Yeah, Matt Murray. He wants to sit down and do an in-person podcast, him and I, at uh, Christmas time. That's awesome. Backwards flow. There you go. Your toes tell a lot. And good. And back. Good. And good. And back. Breathe. Good. And back. Good. And turn. Yep. Let's try our best to catch ourselves so that we don't look like someone falling down the steps. Reminds me of Eddie Murphy. Oh God, Jesus, help me, Lord. <laughs> Fall down the steps. Go, back. Good, perfect. Go. Your hand is at the perfect height from where I'm shooting the puck. Push. There it is, perfect. Good job. And pass, go, go. Nice save. Ready, go. Push. No, you're, that's too slow. I don't know what you're doing there. So if that puck is over here, what would you do? Yes. Because now, where am I gonna go with the pass? I have nowhere to go with the pass. Go! Pass, pass, go. Perfect. Yummy, yummy. I wanna do a little bit of a food update. I was walking by McDonald's and I thought, what more fitting of a time. But when I came home from Sweden, I weighed in at uh, 222, 223. A little bit of eating after the season. Currently weighing in at 208 pounds. So. When I announced that I signed in Detroit for this upcoming season, I had a lot of people grilling me about my love for fast food, burgers, and all kind of stuff at uh, Max, the greatest place to eat in Sweden. The entire summer, 
I did not touch fast food one time. And that was why I was able to shave down 14, almost 15 pounds this summer. So for those that keep grilling me and call me fat, we cut the weight down to 208. But uh, yeah, everybody can stop bullying me and call me fat now. <laughs> When you're charging 300, 400, 500 dollars an hour, how many times can a single mom or a single dad bring that athlete in? You're not gonna get rich off of single moms and single dads and people that are struggling financially. My mom said, if we had had you 10 years later, I don't know if we could have actually afforded it. Charging 500 dollars, just creating a job for yourself. So if you wanna check out the podcast, Sling the Biscuit, episode nine, I think, Apple, Spotify, and the video version obviously here on YouTube, on the Sling the Biscuit YouTube channel. GM texted me last night, but hey, I need your specs for your stick. It's going to take them three years to shave that shit down. Okay, you ready? Good, that was better. Good. I mean, you're an amazing puck handler. You're not a very good listener today, but you're a very good puck handler. It's not hard, it's not fast. Take your stick and put it here. Stop. Don't move. In that position, you can backhand it like you have. You can put the stick here and throw it off the glass. You could take it here and you can rip it around the boards. You with me? Yep. There's three options there, pretty easy, and they get you out of trouble no matter what happens. Play it. Perfect. Good. Now this moment of time, there's seven days I have left in Vancouver before I head off to Detroit for the season. And I gotta say that when it comes to traveling and the start of the season, it's pretty stressful, which is why I always travel with NordVPN. I use NordVPN to keep my information protected, to keep myself safe from cyber threats on public networks anytime I travel. But more importantly, anytime I stream hockey from my favorite streaming sites or my favorite UFC fights. The streaming websites are awesome, but they track me, they take my information, and in some cases, launch cyber attacks on me. But when I turn my NordVPN on, it hides all my information, it keeps me away from cyber threats, and safe with their virtual private network. And you can travel and stream worry-free, just like me, when you go to the first link in the video description at nordvpn.com slash to get the best and most up-to-date pricing possible. I want to thank NordVPN so much for sponsoring this video. And also, I want to thank you. Thank you for watching this vlog. Thank you for supporting my new podcast because all the support that you give me is what makes my dreams possible and has generated me this opportunity in Detroit this upcoming season. But that's the thing. It's only an opportunity, and the rest of that is up to me. But I can tell you right now, I cannot wait to share what I do with this opportunity with you very, very soon. You can follow me on Instagram or TikTok at TravWaters right here if you ever need to reach me for any reasons whatsoever. I do new vlogs every Sunday and sometimes every Wednesday. The next vlog will be up on Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern, and I'll see you then.